Okay, so this unit was tripped out on a H3 error code um, that was coming up on the controller and the unit wouldn't run. Now the customer has said that that code was on the screen for a good week and they haven't been able to run the unit. So I've come out and sure enough the code, that error code wasn't on the controller anymore but it was in the error history. So I've just turned the unit on and it's been running for more than half an hour and the pressures are perfect and it's running completely fine. Now that's the high pressure switch and what H3 means is when the unit was in an off state, so when the unit was turned off, this was an open, in an open circuit. So basically this should be in a closed circuit um, all the time. So when the unit's running, it's running because it's in a closed circuit. And when you turn the unit off, it should remain in a closed circuit. The only thing that should make that open circuit is if it exceeds the pressure. Um, so basically it was in an off state and it was in an open circuit apparently and that's why it tripped to a H3 fault. Now in the error history it also said it tripped out on an E3 fault in the past which means the same thing it's just tripped at some stage. Now I've been running this for more than half an hour and it's completely fine pressure wise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the system off and I'm going to disconnect it from, from the switch because I know the pressures are fine. I'm going to loop that and basically run it and let the customer know that I've done that and if he runs it and it runs fine and um, if it just trips out again on a high pressure related fault then I know that it's the outdoor board that's faulty. Now that's just what you have to do to diagnose these intermittent faults. So that's what I'm going to do.
Okay, so I've confirmed that this still has a closed circuit in the off position or in the off state. So that's fine, that is not faulty. Now, I'm not sure why it's tripped out on the H3. I suspect that the outdoor board might have an issue. So I know the pressures are perfect. I've just disconnected that, looped it, made it safe. I'm not doing this to leave it like this permanently. I'm just doing this as a way of diagnosing the issue. So I'm gonna leave it for a couple of days and if the customer comes back and says that it's tripped out on an E3 or a H3 fault, then I know that the board's obviously an issue because both those faults mean that this is faulty. But if I've disconnected that, it still comes up with the fault, then it's obviously just the inverter PCB that's the issue, the main PCB. So that's what I'm doing. Just gonna leave it like that. That U2 fault that was on the controller is basically saying that there's like a issue with the PC board. So honestly, I just think that board's intermittently going into error. It's just pumping out like error codes that aren't even right. Fair enough, it turns on. So just to clarify, I've done that just as a way of diagnosing that that is the issue. So if that comes up with another H3 fault or an E3 fault, it's basically trying to tell me that there's an issue with that, but that's not even connected. And then that's how I diagnose the board. Some people might have a better way of doing this, but that's how I do it. my service tool which I highly recommend you get if you work on Dakin. Very handy. I'm just going to leave it like that for a couple of days and my customer will let me know.